In this video, we are going to focus on final details. So first of all, let's add more contrast to the hair. I would like to bring out more of the highlights. So let's add another adjustment layer curves. Let's quickly rename it hair. And now let's select the targeted adjustment tool and let's sample from the brightest part in the hair and from the darkest part. To increase the highlights in the hair, remember that at this step I'm just only looking at the hair. I can entirely ignore the rest, the back and the background. So to increase highlights in the hair, I'm pulling this control point upwards and to increase shadows, I can push this point a little bit downwards. Okay, let's now get back to the layer that was created to adjust the light and shadow in the body. It's affecting my hair very strongly, so I want to slightly adjust the mask as it's bright here. I want to paint with the black color to just decrease its influence over her hair. I'm selecting brush, hitting B on my keyboard, opacity 20. I just hit 2 on my keyboard and I want to get back the lost detail in the hair. Notice that I'm painting on the mask for the adjustment layer that was created for the body. Okay, that way I am able to work further on the hair and clicking on the thumbnail representing the adjustment layer. Let's see what happens if I push this point a little bit further. Maybe not as strongly. This one is fine. Okay, let's quickly mask this layer. So I have the mask selected and hitting command I to invert the mask. And now I will be painting with a brush. So I'm hitting B to select the brush with a white color. I'm hitting X on my keyboard to swap these samples and just to reveal those highlights a bit stronger in the hair area. And opacity 20 is not enough. I hit 5 to increase it to 50% and just move over this part. Okay. Now I want to make the highlight in her eye stronger as well. So first let's check if any of these adjustment layers is affecting strongly the eye. Of course this body adjustment layer mask is very strong. So I just want to decrease the amount of influence it has here on the eye. So the mask is selected. I am selecting brush, changing color to black with X and just painting with the brush over the highlight in her eye. I'm going to move back. Okay, changing opacity to 90. I just hit 9 in my keyboard and only increasing this highlight. Let's zoom out and you can immediately see that it brought more life to the image. Okay, so that way we adjusted the hair. Another section of the image I would like to focus my attention is this part of the outfit. I would like to make the contrast a little bit stronger as well. So I'm going to select the top layer and try to paint on the mask to make these changes visible here. So I'm increasing size of the tool and changing opacity to 30. Just hit 3 on my keyboard and painting over this area here. Okay, it slightly decreased the contrast. I don't want to go too far, just to make this distinction a little bit more pronounced. Let's now get rid of these panels and just display the layers and switch off all these adjustments that I have created so far. So this is the original image and this is the image after applying the adjustment layers. At this point I would like to revisit the back and try to still increase the contrast a little bit. So this is the layer representing the body. This is the 
S-shaped curve, actually you can see that by switching off this layer, I'm getting much better result for the back. So in this case, all I need to do is to just mask this layer. So I'm going to select brush, hitting B on my keyboard and opacity 50 is too much, hitting 3. And I will be painting with a black color, so I'm hitting X to swap these color samples and I just want to go over the darker parts in the back to increase the three-dimensionality of her back to make them stronger. I can go over the face as well and you can see how it already changed the way the back looks like. Let's switch off and on. Okay, now I'm very happy with the result. I would like to make actually this wall a little bit darker. So let's see if I would paint over this layer with the black color. I can just slightly strengthen the vignette effect to drag the viewer's attention, the viewer's eye towards the central part of the image, towards her back. Let's make this pillar here this vertical bright line a bit darker as well. I'm changing opacity to 30, just hitting 3 on my keyboard. Now I'm just working on all those areas in the image that are bright without any reason, since I want the back to be the strongest element. I want to move over the top as well over this bottom edge. Okay, let's move back to the layer that was adjusting the body. And I will try to move the point representing highlights in the image still a little bit upwards. If I look at the histogram, we still have a little bit of missing information here, so I can still push it a little bit further to increase contrast in the image. Maybe that's too far around this place. Okay, so that way if we compare the histogram from the original photo, you can see how I have managed to extend it after applying all the adjustments. Okay, so that way we have finished working on lights and shadows in this image and in the next video we are going to reintroduce color to the photo.